Hello everyone, uh, my name is Zeke. Uh, I will be your dedicated product engineer and uh, today we're going to discuss the high-level overview of the Komodo One platform. All right, so uh, first off, uh, the question is, so what is Komodo One? So Komodo One is a uh, an all-in-one cloud-based IT management platform um, that consists of different uh, modules or applications and um, uh, the benefits of using the Komodo one is to basically, uh, you know, reduce the cost, the operating cost of your company. So you will be able to use our platform for free, uh, and you can also resell our paid products. All right. So, um, and also, of course, why is it free? That is uh, simply because we want to uh, make partnership with you guys. So this will serve like as an uh, initial handshake. To, uh, to have a strong relationship or partnership uh, between you and Komodo, right? So um, this is the dashboard of Komodo One. And the moment you sign up with Komodo One, um, there will be a dialog box before you get into this screen, which is going to ask you if you are an MSP version of Komodo One or an enterprise version. And also in that screen, you will uh, you will select what would be your dedicated uh, subdomain name for your ITSM and your service desk portal. All right. So basically, we are going to give you your dedicated subdomain. All right. So um, in my case, my subdomain for my service desk or my ticketing system will be this. My subdomain is a Z. And um, for the ITSM, that would be z-msp.cmdm.komodo.com. Right, so you can provide these links to your clients uh, based on your own subdomain uh, so that they can actually you know, um, interact with your uh, Komodo One application. All right. So going back to this screen, again, this is the dashboard. This is the landing page of your Komodo One as soon as you're able to set up everything, uh, the MSP or enterprise, uh, and your subdomain name. All right. So this will show you uh, quick reports coming from your applications, uh, such as this one coming from my from the ITSM shows you the uh, security status, uh, inactive antivirus, inactive firewalls, inactive uh, sandbox, things like that. And uh, also this one is for the for the service desk for the code manager and all other uh, widgets, helpful widgets for you here, right? Uh, there may be more widgets that is turned off uh, for your Komodo one, but you can turn them on here. You can also turn off the, the other ones that uh, you think you don't need. And uh, this drop down um, actually gives you uh, the list of the companies that you have here under the management and customer list. And, um, you know, if ever you want to see a record specifically coming from one uh, customer, you can just select it from here. Uh, but this is only applicable for MSP version of Komodo One. So that's why I have that in here. But if you're uh, an enterprise user, of course, you're only managing your own devices. So you don't, you, you actually don't have this one here. All right. So next we have, uh, this is actually under the overview, the dashboard overview. All right. So next we have the notifications. So we have two tabs here: news and notifications. Uh, news is basically where you will you will see the announcement coming from Komodo. Like this one shows you the maintenance, and this one shows you the update for the January uh, release. So we're actually doing monthly release updates for uh, the Komodo One platform and its applications. All right. So the development of our our tools is very uh, fast and um, you know we're, we're constantly giving you updates about what's going on all right and you will also be able to see the history here of uh, the development of Komodo so if you want to review what happened last month or on a specific month you can actually see it from here okay and then the notifications tab shows you all the alerts coming from your application. So like this one, this is coming from ITSM, and uh, there's a monitoring uh, condition that has been uh, triggered, so that's why it gave me an alert. 
so we can have more discussion about monitoring uh, when 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 we hit the ITSM demo okay but for now we're gonna stick with the Komodo one all right so that's for the notifications by the way this notifications menu is just the same as this yellow bell button here on top all right and then we go to the reports so reports uh, shows you or um, gives you an access to uh, generate reports coming from different applications uh, and send it to a specific person. You can email it directly to them and you can also schedule it on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. All right, so here's a sample of our report right here. It is in a PDF format. There is a logo up here. It can be your company logo. Later I'm gonna show you where to change that and the support phone number and support email address, okay? So it's very straightforward type of reporting. Uh, it's summarized. It is designed to be sent out to your clients so uh, they can easily understand what's going on. Um, but if you want to have a uh, the raw data from, from uh, your application, there's also a way for you to generate the reports from, from the actual application right here, okay? But this one is a summarized report specifically designed to be sent out to your clients. Okay, so that that's the features that we have for the reporting in Komodo 1. And then next we go to the applications. So these are the applications that we have in Komodo 1. The moment you sign up with Komodo 1, your starter applications are ITSM or IT and Security Manager. Um, this consists of uh, the device management um, mobile device management, uh, patch management, remote management, and the uh, script deployment, which is actually uh, called procedures right here. Okay, and then um, we also have service desk, which is our ticketing system, part of the starter applications, and the dome shield, which is a DNS-based uh, web filtering application, and this is also free. All right. Um, we also have add-ons, free add-ons on top of these uh, three applications. We have the code manager and CRM. So you will be able to get these two applications by going to the Komodo store. But then again, these applications are free. Okay. SeaWatch is a paid application, which is I'm going to discuss more about later when I talk about the Komodo store. But for now, these are your free applications. Okay, so moving on, we have now under the management, we have the customer. And again, this is something that you wouldn't have if you are in the Komodo 1 MS or Komodo 1 Enterprise version. Since I'm in an MSP version, I have the customer list. So I have company A, B, C, and D in here, which I will uh, use as a sample later. And uh, yeah, you just have to, uh, you know, fill this out and then hit save and then that's it. It will be part of your... Uh, list of the companies that you support and it will be added to all of your applications right here. There's a way for you to add your uh, customers per application. Let's say you want to add it into the service desk, but you don't want it to be added to ITSM and Dome Shield. So all you got to do there is to go directly to service desk and then add that organization into the service desk portal. All right. So, but if you want to declare a customer for every applications right here, you do it under the management and then customer. Next, we have the staff. So, this staff, uh, these are your people, all right? And uh, as soon as you add a staff member here, it will send out a verification email to them and will allow them to set up their own password. As soon as they're able to set up their own password, they'll be able to log into your Komodo One portal Remember, we have a, you know, a dedicated portal for ITSM and a dedicated portal for the help desk or for the service desk. But this one, if you add your technician right here, he will be able to log into the Komodo One portal. Okay. So you can also assign roles to them. You can assign a, an admin or a technician role, and you can also customize your own. All right, and that's what we have right here, the next one. So we have three different default uh, roles here. We have the account admin, admin, 
and then technician. So account admin is the main uh, account, the one who created the Komodo One account. And uh, all of this, by the way, uh, is something that you cannot modify and cannot uh, be deleted. Uh, but going back to the account admin, account admin uh, is the owner of the uh, Komodo One account. And um, there can be only one account admin. All right. Um, you can transfer the account admin rights to someone else, though, but you can still only have one account admin. As soon as you assign it to someone else, you're going to be automatically assigned as an admin. Okay. And then the admin. So this is your regular administrator account or role. All right. And uh, the only difference between the account admin and the admin is the Komodo store. So account admin can actually go to Komodo store. Account admin can go to the applications management and account management. So basically all about the uh, Komodo One uh, account and transactions. Okay. So later on, we're going to discuss this too. And then the technician role. So we have defined our own technician role, but if you want to create your own, you can just clone this. Uh, define your own technician right here. Say, for example, you want to create a technician that is only dedicated to manage the tickets. So all you need to do there is to uncheck everything and then leave the service desk on. So the next time this technician logs back in, the only thing that you will see here on top is the service desk and nothing else. All right. So that's for the roles. Next, we have the account. And again, this is something that uh, an account admin can only access. The rest of the roles cannot access this one. Okay, so this is where you can change the company name, contact, email, country, anything related to your uh, company information. Uh, the logo, support email and support phone number that shows to the reports. Uh, earlier, I showed you that you can set your logo, set your support email and phone number there. So this is where you will do it. Um, and then the Komodo license account details. So every time you create a Komodo One account, there is another account that is being created. And that is your Komodo license account. It is accessible by going to accounts.komodo.com. And uh, it is, again, the same credentials as you use, as what you use in Komodo One. And this is where you manage your uh, transactions with Komodo. So when it comes to the point that you're going to resell our products, this is where you will do your purchases, and this is where you can manage your subscriptions, okay? So it is automatically, uh, you know, linked into your account, but if there are other Komodo license account it can link into your account, this is where you will do it. Then we have the account security details. So, um, you can uh, enable the two-factor authentication right here for additional security uh, on your account and also to your staff members' accounts. All right, so then um, you have to make sure, by the way, that you have a Google Authenticator app installed in their smartphones before uh, you activate this because it's going to ask for this application and that's the one that's going to give them the access codes. Okay. Then the remote access support. So this is optional by default. This is disabled. Um, but if uh, if you as an MSP wants to provide access to the guys from Komodo, specifically the support team, and you have some concerns about your subscriptions or anything about your account, you just have to enable this, send us an email, let us know about your concern, and then let them know that your remote access support option is enabled. So it can just they can just, uh, you know, Log in to your, uh, to your account, straight to your account, and then uh, fix whatever they need to fix. Then we have the applications. And this is still, again, uh, one of the things that cannot be accessed by any roles except for the account admin. All right. But this one actually just shows you uh, information about your application. So information for your ITSM, for your C-Watch, for, for your Dome Shield, if ever you have this, uh, C-Watch as well. So these are uh, the details about your application. All right, so for the ITSM, there's just one thing that I wanna clear up here about this 365 days.
because as you know, we're telling that this ITSM or our management tools is being provided to you free for life. It actually even tells us here that it is free, but there's a 365 days, so it's kind of confusing. But this 365 days mark right here just tells us which are the active and inactive users. Okay, so 30 days before your subscription expires, uh, you, you will be notified, and then you can just go to the support section, you can email us, and let us know. You can just copy, copy and paste this whole thing, and then let us know that you want to reload your subscription. If we didn't hear anything from you, that means that you are an inactive user. Okay, so you just have to simply email them. They will reload your subscription for another year, and that's going to be for free. Okay, so that's the use of that. Next, we have the audit logs. So this audit logs uh, just shows you the uh, activities that is being done within the Komodo One portal coming from not just from you, but also from all other um, other staff members that's logging in and out to your account. Okay, so you can actually uh, monitor specific actions like uh, if you created something, updated something, delete, enter, exit, things like that. But this is all about what's happening within the Komodo One platform only. We also have an audit uh, feature into the ITSM so that's going to be a completely different thing, but we're going to discuss that in the future. For now, again, this is something or actions that you can monitor within the Komodo One platform only. So that means if I created something here, I added a customer, I added a staff member, I created a new role, things like that. Okay. And then we go back here now into the Komodo store. All right, so this is where we make our money, and this is also where you can expand your business. There's going to be a win-win situation for both sides because you can use our platform for free, so you, you can start start earning money without paying anything from us. And uh, you can also resell our products to gain more uh, sale, okay? So for us, of course, that's going to be where we actually make our money by by letting you resell our products. So that's why we're offering our, our um, management tools for free as well, okay? So very first one here, we have the Acronis. So of course, Acronis is a separate company, but it's just a tie up or a partnership with them that we totally integrate this application within the Komodo One platform, okay? So you don't have to download a separate app or um, basically log into a different domain just to access your Acronis. Everything is manageable under one.komodo.com. Okay, and then we have our, what we call Komodo 360. Komodo 360 is divided into three different layers. We, we secure uh, the endpoint layer, the local network layer, and also the boundary layer. Okay, so again, it is divided into three layers, so we also have three different solutions for that. So for the endpoint, we have what we call Komodo Client Security, or also called Advanced Endpoint Protection. That Advanced Endpoint Protection is something that you will not see in the Komodo store, but that is the only security application that you can manage in ITSM. Okay, so basically, that's the subscription that you will get from the ITSM module. All right, next we have the local network security. So we actually have two different applications for that. We have what we call SeaWatch. That's what I have here already. So we have the what we call SeaWatch Web and SeaWatch Network. SeaWatch Web is more on website security. So if you're hosting your own website and you want to protect those websites from um, SQL injections, uh, DDoS attacks, or things like that, you will be able to manage that here in SeaWatch Web. Then we also have the SeaWatch Network. So SeaWatch Network is more on gathering logs, creating some queries about those logs. So, for example, um, you fired someone, a technician, uh, 30 days ago, but you saw some logs, something has been triggered, it gave you an alert because someone logged in using that credentials. So you will be notified using the SeaWatch Network with that. And also, these two SeaWatch applications 
um, provides you are SOC engineers. Uh, they are the ones that's going to manage a uh, few features from your SeaWatch application and give you reports on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, depends on what you need. Okay, so that is again for the SeaWatch Web and the SeaWatch Network. Then we have the uh, Komodo Dome. So we actually have a lot of dome, seg uh, dome products in here. So the very first one in our dome segment is the Dome Shield. And again, this Dome Shield is free. It is a uh, DNS-based web filtering application. And uh, the next the next in line uh, in the Dome Shield, or I mean Komodo Dome product, is the Dome Secure Web Gateway, or also known Komodo Dome Standard. Hey, that, that was its, uh, it, its old thing. So the Komodo Dome Secure Web Gateway uh, integrates the technology that we have for the advanced endpoint protection. But this is being done in the boundary layer, right? So um, this Komodo Dome Secure Web Gateway allows you to uh, monitor the incoming files. So if, if someone tries to download the file within your local network, um, you will be able to scan it or it will be able to check it if it's uh, no part of the known good or known bad list. If it's not, it will be considered unknown and it will put it will put it into our containment system. And our containment system uh, will allow will still allow your files to be used by your by your uh, user or by the end user, but uh, it will just run into a virtual environment. And then this this uh, application will be submitted to our uh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie is our cloud-based behavioral scanning analysis, and uh, will give you a verdict of a file by its behavior in less than four to five seconds. Um, if ever it comes to the point that our behavioral scanning analysis cannot provide a final verdict to the file, because based on our uh, statistics, there are chances that our behavioral scanning analysis will not be able to determine if the, the file is good or bad by its behavior. So in, in those cases, um, those files will be submitted to our a group of human experts, and they're the ones who's going to scan or check the file manually if it's either good or bad. Okay, and then the uh, final result will be submitted to a server. It is a called file lookup server. And then that's where it will be, uh, you know, it will determine the next time it, it, it's uh, downloaded to your system. That's where it will find out if it's part of the known good or known bad list. Okay. So that is the commoded dome. So we actually discussed a little bit uh, of what we have in the advanced endpoint protection as well. But of course, we're going to have a separate discussion about how our advanced endpoint protection works uh, when we hit the ITSM demo. So next we have, uh, on top of the Dome Secure Web Gateway, you can get three more add-ons, and those are the Dome Firewall. We have a, a Dome Firewall uh, Virtual Appliance and a Firewall Central Manager. We also have a Dome Anti-Spam and the Dome Data Loss Prevention, which is actually available in the, in the Enterprise version. But if you are interested with more of this uh, don't firewall and the spam and data loss prevention product. Uh, we can actually have you know a separate engineer that can discuss you more about these applications. All right, so that's it for the Komodo store. Again, just to give you a, a quick uh, summary about what we have in the store, we have the Cronus, which is uh, your backup security application. We also have the uh, Komodo client security which is part of the Komodo 360 program, the Komodo uh, or the SeaWatch, which is for the local network security, and then the Komodo Dome, which is for the boundary layer. All right? So that's for the Komodo store. Next, we go to the tools. So we have uh, four additional free uh, portable tools in here. We have Komodo Cleaning Essentials, Network Assessment Tool, Unknown File Hunter and Auto Discovery and Deployment Tool. So Komodo Cleaning Essentials, uh, let me just open my virtual machine right here. This Komodo Cleaning Essential has three additional 
or actually two additional applications. That is the auto runs and the kill switch. So these applications, by the way, are uh, a component of our Komodo client security. Just to give you a glimpse of what we have in the Komodo client security, uh, we have the antivirus, firewall, auto containment, HIPS, virus scope, website filtering, and the uh, two, sorry, uh, and one other layer of protection, which is the Valkyrie. Right. So uh, again, this auto runs Komodo cleaning essential and kill switch is just part of this uh, Komodo client security. And just to show you, we have this one, the Komodo cleaning essentials under advanced task and clean endpoint. The kill switch, which is uh, named watch activity here. And then the, uh, the auto runs. So this one, it's uh, viewing the, uh, the active processes, okay? So um, let's open up the Komodo Clean Essentials. And then a custom scan. So you can basically uh, choose a specific uh, drive or a folder uh, and even the registry objects and services, critical areas and boot sector, hidden files and folders, memory, things like that. Okay. So that's for the Komodo cleaning essentials. And other ones, again, this is uh, viewing all the running processes in your application. So open up this one here. So you will see uh, you will see this running application by category. So you will see uh, one on top uh, that shows you everything that's running, uh, the logged on application, the whatever we have in the Ag Explorer, the Internet Explorer, and so on. And we also have the kill switch. Okay, so if you're familiar with the process explorer, this is actually almost the same about how it works. All right, and um, you will be all, you will also be able to launch Komodo cleaning essentials from here, and also the auto runs. All right, next we have in the tool sets is the network assessment tool. So this is a very good lead generation tool. Um, and uh, this actually sh shows you uh, reports about what's going on within a network. So let's go back to my virtual machine. So I have my Komodo network assessment tool right here. Accept, install, and this Komodo uh, network assessment tool will require two uh, prerequisite application, and those are the Microsoft uh, Baseline Analyzer and uh, the Nmap there, Nmap tool. So as soon as you're able to install these applications to your machine, uh, you'll be able to use your uh, network assessment tool to analyze a network. So you can analyze either an Active Directory network, a home group, or an IP address range. Okay. So for example, I have uh, I have specified an IP range right here, 
which is 169.254.236.1 until 255. Okay, so I can now just uh, start scan all enabled IP ranges now. Okay, now it is running the scan. I can now go here and then see what's happening. So these are the IP addresses that is being scanned right now. It is scanning from 1 to 255. And then once it's done, I can start generating a report. Uh, we have two types of report right here, the client risk report and the network management plan. And while it's doing that, let me show you here uh, a sample of the client risk report. Uh, actually, at this point, it is trying to scan my machine. This is the name of my my virtual machine, and it's uh, processing some information. And there you go; it is now successful. Then I can start generating a client risk report and the network management plan. I can even go back here to scanning details and show me the uh, you know the information that it got from the IP from specific IP addresses. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have any machine in the network, and this is just a virtual machine, so um, I won't be able to see anything from here. Uh, this is the only one that we have, which is my machine. Okay, so it shows you, like, uh, computers were found this uh, significantly low free disk space, so that's accurate. Uh, the recommendation is free or add additional disk space for the specified drives. And the descri another description about my issue is computers were found using an operating system that is an extended support. Extended support is a warning period before an operating is no longer supported by the manufacturer and things like that. So uh, basically, uh, we're not going to go to each one of this, but these are the descriptions of the problem. And there's also a recommendation about what you have to do to fix the problem. So again, this is a, a very good lead generation tool they can show to your clients. And uh, you know, I can tell them that this is what we need to do and things like that. Okay. So this is, again, the sample report. It's very straightforward, um, very easy to understand. Um, in my case, in this type of report, you won't see much because, again, um, I, I'm the only one in the network. Okay. Let me just close this one now. Next we have on the list is the unknown file hunter. All right. So unknown file hunter tool is another uh, very good lead generation tool that allows you to scan uh, same level of network, the Active Directory, Home Group, or a network address. Okay, so I'll just have to accept this one first. And then I can scan. So I can scan an Active Directory, network address, a home group, or just this computer. All right, so if I click this computer only, I can do a full scan, a quick scan, and a custom scan. But difference of this with the Komodo Cleaning Essential, this is only looking for the unknown files. It's not going to take any action unless you submit it to the Valkyrie. And again, just like what I've discussed about the DOM earlier, Valkyries are uh, cloud-based behavioral scanning analysis. Uh, and this will uh, judge the, the application by, by its behavior. And uh, if it, in any chance that it is not able to detect or to, to uh, identify if a file is good or bad by its behavior, it will be submitted to our human experts, and our human experts will take it from there. Okay. 
So that, that is the unknown file hunter tool. And again, this is very good because you can scan uh, an active directory network, a network address, or a home group. So it'll be easier for you to identify how many unknown files they've got within you know, a uh, number of machines. Then lastly, we have the auto discovery and deployment tool. So let's go back to my virtual machine. Let's accept this one. All right, so the auto discovery and deployment tool only needs uh, three steps from the user. First one is to select the package that you would want to deploy. So let's say I would want to deploy this. All right, so it's an EXE package, but uh, our audit discovery and deployment tool can deploy any EXE, MSI, or MST packages. All right, so now that I have selected my, uh, de my deployment package, I can also specify parameters if I want to add more commands during the installation process. Like for example, I want to do quiet installation um, or things like that. And I can also select a, a separate package for 32-bit and 64-bit applications. Okay, so let me just remove this so I can move on to the next step. So the next step is to choose my target. So it can be, again, an active directory, a home group, or a network address, all right? So if I just choose my network address right here, because again, I'm the only one in the network, so I wouldn't be able to, to select anyone. So I will just check my address. Config. So I'll just have to log in my, since I'm deploying this and this is an installation, um, I need a, uh, an administration, uh, administrator credential. So I'll just have to log in my account here. As soon as I'm able to log in, I'll just click start deployment and then that's it. Uh, it is easier for Active Directory because you just have to use the domain uh, user, the domain admin account, so you can deploy it to multiple machines at once. Okay. The uh, the technique for for deploying it via home group or by network address is you will have to enable the hidden administrator. Okay. So that hidden administrator can just have one password, so you can deploy it to all of the machines at once. Okay, so that's the auto discovery and deployment tool. All right, so let's go back to my Komodo One portal. That that is actually all we've got for for the uh, for the portable tool sets. Um, and you can test this if if you have any questions, just let us know. Um, and for the Komodo one, that is actually uh, all for now. Um, we just have, you know, one more thing here under the settings. Um, this is where you can change your password, your time zone, the time zone that is being filed by all of your applications right here. The uh, Komodo one license application launch. So by default, it opens it up in a new tab every time you click on something in here. Uh, but if you don't want that to happen, just choose this one to open the application on the current tab and the landing page. So again, when you log in with Komodo One, it goes straight to the overview page or the dashboard. Okay, But if you want to go straight to specific application like Service Desk or ITSM, you can just switch it from here. All right. So yep, that's pretty much uh, everything about the Komodo One. And again, if ever you have any questions, uh, just let us know. Uh, play around with the platform. Um, and uh, yeah. And also another thing, 
before we totally wrap this up I'll just uh, I'm just going to show you a few things in ITSM especially the enrollment process uh, so you can also play around with this one um, because our next demo is going to be about the ITSM so um, before we get into the ITSM at least you can you know explore and play around with it so we have uh, different ways of enrolling a device you can go by here under the quick actions so if for example you're in the Komodo one interface you can just click right here uh, add new device and it will bring you straight to the uh, ITSM portal right there okay so you can now click enroll device um, there is also here under the dashboard what we called quick actions so it's just actually the same as this quick actions on top so yeah add new device will also bring you here and here you also have a shortcut this plus sign you can click enroll device so anywhere anywhere you are in the ITSM Sorry. Uh, for example, uh, you're you're in uh, you're in the dashboard of ITSM, and uh, there's the device that you want to enroll. You can just go straight here, enroll device, and you can choose the owner and the company of your device. Okay. So yeah, um, there are different ways of how you manage your device. You can you can put it in one owner, and then just choose a sep uh, a separate company for each one of them. I mean for for a specific machine uh, but for now for the basics you can actually enroll it under your name under the uh, account admin account so in my case my account admin is this and I'll just choose the company where I want to enroll it after that I can either email the enrollment instructions to myself or I can just show the enrollment instructions right here so I don't have to wait for an email to come into my email okay so I just have to copy or click this link bring me to download the file once I've downloaded the file I can I can uh, just install it once it's installed I can now see that device or I should be able to see that device right here in my device list okay again there's just a, a very uh, easy step to enroll your device just click this or this enroll device button it will bring you the same dialog box choose the owner which is again just choose yourself for now and then uh, choose the company where you want to enroll it and then show enrollment instructions then from here you'll be able to see different links for different platforms like Windows Apple Android and Linux right then you just have to click the link for that, install the application, and then you're good to go. All right, so next, or I mean, uh, our next demo session will be more about the ITSM, about how you enroll, how you onboard things here. Um, but for now, uh, I just showed you the basics in ITSM on how to enroll devices so you can, so you can play around with it. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, about the high-level overview of the Komodo One, and thank you so much for uh, for attending the demo, and I hope you have a nice day.